Hi kids! This is me again, your teacher Erica. How are you today? I hope you are doing good. So today we are going to talk about fractions. So let's uh, compare fraction, okay? So as you can see here, there is an alligator and then the symbols. Okay, let's discuss further. So we have here the parts of the fraction. So as you can see, we have here this um, the circle one, and it has a parts, okay, um, five parts, five small parts. So one, two, three, four, five, and then there is this two shaded region or two shaded parts, okay. The two shaded parts, it's a two here in this example. So, the 2 is an example of numerator. Everybody say numerator. Okay. N-U-M-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E numerator. It is the number of parts that we have. Alright? So, how many parts that we have? Two shaded parts. Okay. Next, the one here is 5 because it's this circle divided into five parts. So one, two, three, four, five. So five here is the denominator. Everybody say denominator. Okay, spelled as D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R. So it, it refers to the whole part. Okay, the total parts in whole, the whole part. Okay, so understand now, so again, we have numerator, and then we have here the lower part number, denominator. Okay, so it's really important that you know which is the numerator and which is the denominator. Okay, because we needed to compare the fractions later on. So let's go further. So I have here an example, just a practice, all right? So, pizza fractions. We have here pizzas. Okay. So, first, okay, the pizza is divided into how many parts? Like, for example, the first pizza here. How many parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Divided into eight parts, the first pizza. So, there is... Nothing, uh, one here is missing, so which means, uh, let's say I already ate the one part of pizza. Okay, so the numerator, one, and then the whole part, the total part, the whole is eight. So because it, the total part is eight. All right, so we have here, uh, read it one over eight or one eight. Everybody say one eight. Okay, next. How about this one? The second pizza. Okay, so it how many is missing here? One, how many parts? One, two. So we have two. All right. And then how many parts as a whole? The total parts. Let's count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So the same uh, from the first one here. So it it has an eight parts. Okay, so eight. Next, how about this one? Of course, the same. How many um the missing parts? Okay, two. And then how many the total parts as a whole? Okay, the same eight. Two eight. Next, read as 2, 8. Next, how about this one? How many is the missing part? Okay, 3. How about the whole part? How many parts as a whole? Okay, the same, 8. So, 3, 8. Everybody read 3, 8. Okay, so this is how you're going to write the fractions. Next, 
okay so i'm going to review about this one this concept so we have here one one as a whole okay and then when we divide one into two equal parts you will call it one over two or one half the half of one here it's one half one half all right and then we are going to divide the one half into two equal parts all right this one each one half so each one half when you divide the one half into two equal parts it is one fourth it will become one fourth all right so we have here four one fourths because we have two one half okay so one fourth one over four it is also called one fourth one fourth one fourth okay as you can see here on the screen the one fourth is half of the one half all right another one half here so we have another two one fourths all right next um we next we are going to divide the one fourth into two equal parts so this one 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 fourth divided into two equal parts and then another one fourth divided into two equal parts, another one fourth divided into two equal parts, another one fourth divided into two equal parts, okay? So it will become one eighth each. So one fourth divided by two equal parts. So one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, and so on. Okay, how many one eighths are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, because we have here also one fourth. So this is how you're going to have, I mean, one of the uh, introduction about the fraction, the concept of fractions. All right, so let's proceed. Okay, I have here one question for you guys. Would you rather have one over eight or one eighth of the pizza or one fourth of the pizza? So which one do you think is the bigger? Which do you think is the bigger pizza? Is it the one eight pizza or the one fourth pizza? Hmm, let's find out. Okay, let's go further in our discussion comparing fractions. Okay, the alligator here is already hungry. <laughs> okay, okay, let's proceed. Okay, I will show you here, review, just a review. I know you already know this one, but just to review, we have your, this symbol, less than. Everybody say less than. Okay. So as you can see, the, the symbol less than and the other one is like a, the mouth of the alligator. Okay. Next, we have here, greater than. Everybody say greater than. Okay. Next. Okay, so this one. Less than. Again, this one is less than. Greater than. Okay. Next. Okay, please take note of that. Next. So in comparing fractions, we have here the first example. Okay, let's. Let's read this one. If both your denominators, take note, the denominator is in the lower part, are the same. If both the, your denominators are the same. Let's say in this example, we have 1 over 4, and then we have 3 over 4, right? So denominator is 4. 1 over 4, the denominator is 4. 3 over 4, the denominator is 4. Okay? So, they are, they have the same denominators. So, if they have the same denominator, the bigger the numerator is the highest, has the highest value. Okay? So, let's say we have here, Okay, the same denominator, so we have here the numerator 1, 
and then the numerator three. So one is a small number, smaller number, and three here is the bigger number than one. Okay, so which means one over four is less than three over four. Understand? The three here is the greater number. Again, one over four is less than three over four. The number three is the bigger or greater number. Understand? Or three over four is greater than one over four. Again, one over four is less than three over four. Or three over four is greater than one over four. Okay? Okay. So the alligator eats the greater numerator. So the alligator eats. Okay, we're going to eat this three because it has a greater numerator. Next, another condition. If both the numerators are the same. So this one here, in this example, 3 over 4 and then 3 over 8. So you see that they have the same numerator, 3, right? Okay, if that's the case, the denominator here, the smaller the number, the lesser the value of the fraction. The smaller the number in the denominator, the greater the value of the fraction. So we have here 4 and then 8. You see that the 4 is a smaller number, right? But if the fraction has the same numerator, which is 3 in the example, and then the denominator 4 and 8, the, again, the, the smaller the number, the greater the value in the fraction. Understand? which means it has a bigger value. So 3 over 4 or 3 fourth is greater than 3 over 8 or 3 eighths. Understand? Okay. So first, the condition denominators, if they have the same denominators, and then the greater the, 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 greater the numerator, which is 3 here in the example, that has a greater value of the fraction. So that's why we have here the less than because one fourth is less than three fourths. Next here again, if they have if the fractions have the same numerator, so look at the denominator here. We have four and eight. The smaller the number, the greater the value of the fraction. Okay, understand? That's why we have here the symbol greater than 3 fourth is greater than 3 eight. So again, the alligator, it's the smaller denominator because it has the greater value, 3 fourth. Okay, understand? If you need to review this lesson, just replay this video. Okay? Alright, next. So we have here an example, we have one fourth and then one half. Okay, what do you think is the answer? Less than or greater than? Okay, the answer is less than. One fourth is less than one half. One fourth, they have the same numerator one. So the four here is now the lesser the lesser value of fraction in the fraction. So one-fourth is less than one-half. The hungry crocodile or the alligator always eats the biggest number. So the biggest number is one-half here. Next, okay, just um, reciprocate. So, or one-fourth is less than one-half, or one-half is greater than one-fourth. Okay, understand? Okay, bear with me, guys. Next, another example. Comparing fractions. Okay, 2 over 5 or 2 fifths. 
and then 3 over 5 or 3 fifths. Okay, is it less than or greater than? Alright, the answer is less than. 2 fifths is less than 3 fifths. Because, as you can see here, they both have the same denominator, which is 5. So, look at the numerator. Small numerator is less than the 3, of course. Alright? Next, here. It's opposite. So, this time, the numerator are the same. 5-5 five, five numerator. Dif different, not the same denominator. So, again, if it has the... If the fractions both have the same numerator, look at the denominator. The smaller the number, the greater the value. Understand? So 5 6 is greater than 5 7. Understand? Okay. Just replay this video if you need to practice more or if you need to review the lesson. So, I hope you guys um, understand this topic, alright? It's very important. Next, we have to practice more. So, you see here we have an illustration. Okay, the pie, so two fourths, alright? One, two, the missing part, so two. And then how many parts as a whole? Four. One, two, three, four. So, two fourths or two over four. And then... We have here the three fourths. So how many? How many shaded parts? One, two, three. So three. Three fourths. This one the shaded parts is two, so two fourths. Alright. Is it greater than or less than? What do you think is the answer? It's less than. So you see that the uh, denominator of the fractions given are the same. So look at the numerator. This one is smaller. This one is bigger. The 3. So 2 fourths. 2 fourths is great, uh, less than 3 fourths. Understand? 2 fourths is less than 3 fourths. Alright? One more. Alright. Guess what's the answer, guys? So we have here one shaded part, so one, and then one, two, three, four, so four, one fourth, and then we have one shaded part, one, and then we have ten parts, so one tenth, one fourth, one tenth. So what have you observed? What do they have in common, the given? Is it numerator or denominator? Alright, the numerator. So now take a look the number below the denominator. Again, the greater, I mean the smaller the number, the greater the value. Or the big the greater the number, the smaller the value. So what do you think is the answer? Less than or greater than? Alright, one fourth is Greater than one tenth. One tenth. One fourth is greater than one tenth. Okay? So, guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. And if you just need more um, review, just replay this video. Again, just replay this video. So, take care. See you next time, guys. Goodbye. Thank you.